Hello tubers, this is Retro Marky. Now this is my BBC Master, but before I go on to make this video, I do want to say that my uh, one of my favourite uncles passed away today. Um, and I wasn't going to do this video, I'm actually quite upset and sad about it. But, you know, he loved technology, <clears throat> he loved Xboxes, loved video games, loved photography and me and him were really similar in that respect so I thought I would carry on and do this video anyway and dedicate it to him so this video is for Uncle Michael who I'm going to miss a lot and who loved technology like me so I'll see you in virtual heaven my friend anyhow um, I've been planning on doing this for a few days that's another reason I decided I should get this done today because I've got a few other possible videos coming soon. So basically I've been going through my BBC Micro collection. Um, I had three BBC B standards and it's too many basically. I don't have the space and the need for them. And I did pick up this nice BBC Master for a good price recently because um, I decided well I'll get rid of at least a couple of beeps um, and get myself a master so at least if nothing else I'll just have a master or I might have a master and one standard beep. Now one thing I have done so I could actually just keep this machine is a um, couple of things so it's just the third um, solution I found for replacing a disk drive with a with virtual images and a bunch of games and stuff like that. This one was £28, um, not as cheap as the Smart Spy. This is the Smart Spy. Oh, okay, the light's pretty bad, it's on the computer. But it's a, uh, it's a really cheap, good solution for the standard B, just over about £16, so you need to provide an SD card. Good thing is, unlike the Turbo MMC, you can use a normal um, SD card and it's much cheaper. Now the downside is you can't plug it into the master because of the different space the master has underneath, which is a real pity. But if you've got a standard Beeb, then I would recommend this over the Turbo MMC. Now I've also used the Turbo MMC. Um, that's the best probably for um, price and compatibility um, just seems to be top of the range but this one I've got is a little bit cheaper and it does work on the master as well now what I've done um, under here is popped in so you need to use a ROM slot one thing to bear in mind I had a few issues with this is you need to change one of these jumpers here there's two jumpers because they slept between ROM and sideways RAM and mine was in the uh, wrong position. So it did throw me for a while, I was changing the cable around, changing ROM sockets, even tried the Smart Spy and MMC ROMs, but finally I got it to work. So a little bit of faffing, but now it's there, it's there. So that can pop back on there. Now the thing I'm really excited to show you which uh, I can't really zoom any further, but uh, there's a, from Retro Clinic, £20, a plug-in ROM solution here that actually gives me four BBC Micro operating systems, pretty much the four you're going to need um, for, the, for the standard Beeb and Master. Uh, there was another OS, I think, for the high-end 512 master but that's a whole different machine so what we've got here is just a plug-in ROM it does cover another socket but you can still get a standard ROM chip in there um, the only thing you can't do is get something like this in there which is a um, chunkier mega ROM and what and this is really simple to fit you just pop it in there remove your standard MOS chip and what I love about it is no soldering, no drilling, no gluing, nothing. Hopefully you can see here, we've got a, I've got a four-way switch and that gives us Master 3.5 OS, which is the 
probably the best one to have. The earlier Master 3.2, which is the one that came with my machine. Uh, BBC 1 to 8 with the sideways RAM. And also uh, and Basic 2.0 and also Basic 1.2 on position 4 for a standard Beeb. So pretty much with those, I'm getting the best of all worlds. Uh, access to everything nice and juicy in the Masters and also the B plus and the standard Beeb with pretty high compatibility. So I'll just show you here. Best to switch off. You can switch it and it will crash and you can control break but I think it's better to switch it on and off. So here if we go to start ROMs um, no, actually, I've got to help first. So there we go, we've got MOS 3.5, we've got View and View Sheet, Basic, Advanced DFS, uh, DFS 2.4. DUtils would be the ROM for the uh, SD card. So, um, for example, go Star Help DUtils. And um, we've got some commands there specifically for the SD card. Um, so that's that. Pop it off, put it there. Not much different here, but this is 3.2, which is what I got with my machine anyway. Not a lot of difference there. Um, so that's that one. Maybe the DFS is slightly different, but there's apples and pears. And here we go. At the moment, I've got the 1 to 8 plus set to 96k. Uh, so I've got some room for shadow RAM. Put help. So I've got DFS 2.26, sideways RAM, view again, advanced disk toolkit, which um, you don't get with the other ones. Also, Xmon 2, which is um, a. Um, camera cut out there. So as I was saying, um, on this one we've got XMOM which is a machine code monitor. We go there. If you want to have a look around, see what's in memory. Disassemble, I don't know. For example. Um, and then finally we've got our normal beep with 32k and um, so have a look what we've got in there. We've got a few little bonuses. Very good value for £20 this. So we've got basic DFS 2.26 again. We've also got a view, basic editor, and some games. So one of my favourite games is Chucky Egg from back in the day. Still play it to this day. And there it is. So we've got that built in. The other thing is, if we switch back quickly to the master, just to show you that it's, uh, this card is compatible. I'll put a link for this card actually, and the others. Um, as I said, the one that's just for the Beeb is really good value for £16. And then you've got uh, this one and the um, the, the, MM, the MMC which is two pounds more. I think that one has got a few extra features on it, software wise, and is the original, but I don't see much difference between them. So just to show you that it does work, there we go, so it works on the master as well as the standard beep. And fancy a bit of pixel porn? Don't mind if I do. So children look away now you're going to get some 8-bit nudity. <sighs> Should we go past? Yeah. Oh my god. Already things are starting to tingle. Uh, Suzanne. How Suzanne? Wow. That is one hot piece of pixel hotness. Anyhow, <laughs> moving on. That's pretty much it. Uh, did want to show one more quick thing. That's using the um, 
this would show you the quality difference between the composite and in this case the mono monitor socket which can be modded to color easily but um, as you can see the quality is um, not that good really not worth using unless you really don't have the money for a £10 composite lead I'll just switch that back um, I've also got a couple of bits of news so there's a Raspberry Pi solution for the master that I'm looking into uh, acquiring and that gives you a plug-in co-processor for around £20-£30 with shipping and depending on options and that can not only emulate the 6502 second processor which costs an arm and a leg even today but also the Z80 and 65... what was it? O2C or something um, pretty much everything you can think of so I'm going to be getting one of those at some point and um, playing around with that. I know it can go up to 1 gigahertz, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, there's a way of running an old DOS program because uh, it can also emulate the 8088 is it? So really exciting. There's not really any software designed for this stuff but of course you know it's a co-pro. Uh, maybe some hobbyists out there will write some good stuff. Uh, two bits of other sad news besides my uncle passing away is um, I managed to destroy two bits of expensive Commodore 64 goodness just before Christmas. I um, well, I didn't destroy completely, but um, well, my Ultimate 2 I seem to have completely destroyed. Um, it does power on, but it just glitches and goes funny. It actually took out two C64s, which is uh, absolutely heartbreaking. Um, the reason it took out two was because um, I thought one of my 64s had just gone wrong and stupidly plugged in the Ultimate 2 into another 64 my nice one with the transparent case and the LEDs and it took that one out as well good news is I contacted Gideon who makes the Ultimate 2's and he said um, yeah send it back and I'll see if I can replace it for you so I'm waiting on that uh, the other thing is um, my individual computers brand new blackboard that I showed you recently uh, I managed a brick. It's not broken exactly, but it doesn't work, which I guess is the definition of broken. Uh, I was messing around with it. I connected it to my PC. I wanted to make a video and show you guys uh, what you can do with it. And when I was messing around, I thought, oh, I can upload Jiffy DOS and try it out and show you guys how it works. And that completely bricked it. Um, and I've got, there's no solutions on the internet. I've tried reloading kernels and all sorts of things contacted the guys and they said well it's Christmas we're busy but either you can send the board in or we're going to work on a solution for you um, and I went for the latter option because I'd like to know how if you do brick it how to repair it so I can make a video and show you guys out there um, what happens and uh, what not to do and if you do do what you shouldn't do then how to undo that that was a complicated sentence, so I'm going to leave it there. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, it's been a sad day for me, but um, that's, uh, that's, that's life, isn't it, sometimes? And uh, I'll come back as soon as I can with some more videos, maybe the GoPro uh, and the C64s, how I get them back working again in the near future. So... Uh, Happy New Year everybody. Ciao for now. Retro Marky, out.